So here we have our square that we've been using for our commons, our crowns and our creepers. There's our 500mm mark and there's our angle. The hip, however, it comes up to the same height as the common rafters but it has a longer run, so its angle is a little bit less. That angle needs to be lower down about there. But how far lower down? Well, that's what we'll deal with here in this drawing. So here's our square that we've been using and we've got our piece of timber screwed to it which we've been using to get our common rafters. So we've simply gone across 500, we've marked the angle across there and screwed a piece of timber on. So now what we need to do is to get this moved to suit our hip pitch angle. So what we're going to do is simply measure from that square up to the height of our common rafter angle and we're going to go back to our magic number for hip ends and that's 1.414 so we're going to take that height and we're going to type into our calculator that height divided by 1.414 and what that's going to do is give us a new height up there so the height of our common rafter angle divided by 1.414 gives us the height of our hip angle and we simply connect that line back to the same starting point at that 500 mark, screw a piece of timber to it and we can use this square exactly the same way we just take the run of our hip rafter and simply step out the 500 mil increments until we get to the run that we want for our hip. So here we are back to our square, let me just turn that around so that we can see what I've done. So all I've done, I'll just zoom that in a little bit more, so there's the height from our common rafter bevel, I'm going to measure that. I'm going to grab that measurement, pull out my calculator. Now you'll notice when I did this I accidentally pressed the wrong buttons, so I'll cut this little bit of video out and I'll jump to where I fixed it up. So there's my height divided by 1.4 and 4 gives me that height there and that is where I'm going to mark a line just there, I've marked that there back to my 500 mils point let's turn that around, I'll just zoom out a bit put my square there, there's my new height and I've lined that back to that 500 mark where I was and I'll just slip that under there and screw that on in my new spot. Make sure that lines up there and my new height there and a couple of screws will hold that in place. And so there it's all set up ready for my hip rafters.